Hello, my friends. I feel like I've gotten fair all the past two days. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do just a really simple little matte eye look. Also, here's the link for the Amazon Live that I was on in case you wanted to check it out. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. By the way, really quickly about my brows, I've been in a little bit more of a sculpted era right now. Mm -hmm. Less floof, just a little bit more sculpted. You can still see the separation in the hair. I love that. I love to see the separation in the hair um, on the face, but I've been using my Glossier pencil. I use Cool, yes, Cool Brown. Um, I wanna say, I'll get, I'll get you the color. I've used this so much that I have taken all that off love that it's a pomade by the way and what that means not only is the shape really cool you probably saw the ad it's on my page but the shape's really really cool for precision and filling in gaps um but it, since it's a pomade it's transfer proof waterproof sweat proof it's all the proofs but also i want to tell you about this this mac gel i normally don't like gels but man this is working and remember i have super coarse brow hair I'm sure that y'all remember how coarse that my brow hair is, but you can even layer this. I already have it on and it will not get flaky. It is really nice. So if you're wanting a clear brow gel, this is the one I'm gonna recommend. And I never like brow gel ever, but this one has absolutely stolen my makeup heart. Then I let it get a little bit tacky, almost dry. And then right before it dries, I'll just take the spoolie, whatever spoolie I got, and then I just kind of push them over this way. It's so good. This is the one I was wearing when I did that check-in the other day when I was in New York and it was raining and I was sweating. You'll like this. If you need a new clear brow gel, you'll like this. Let's do our warmer colors today. This one's actually more cool tone, but I was gonna start with this one. So these are the Armani shadows. This is the shade 20M. Team Bean, did you just burp? This kitty cat. Let's just go ahead and throw that in the crease. Very warm. I'm excited though. Because I like to mix the warm and the cool. We'll see where we end up. And then I'm just going to take the side of my E29, the Inner Rush brush, and just smooth that across. I feel like I could get away with this color being a corrector too. I'm just gonna buff a little under here. And doing that's a really good idea because once this sets, it's not gonna mix in with your foundation. A little quick fix. Let's just grab our bronzer, grab it on the side of the brush, and I'm just gonna tap it into the socket a little bit this is really going to make our complexion look nice and seamless once we add the bronzer on our face, too. That's a nice little transition. So I'm focusing most of it in the socket first. Kind of place it, and then once you have it placed, then I start to bring it up towards the brow to transition. I swear, he plans it at this point. Let's do a really, really soft cut crease. Really soft. I promise it'd be so soft. <laughs> We're gonna take this shade. I love this shade, it's a contour shade, a shadow shade, if you will. This is, it's a little scraped off here. I'll have to go find it. I want to say 30, yeah, that's 30, 30M. Grab that on an E27. I'm gonna tilt my head back and I'm just gonna stamp this. See how soft this is gonna be? And this is as dark as we're going to build it up. Nice. Now we'll just soften the transition a little bit. Now if you've ever been afraid of a cut crease, this is the way to do it. So now that we have that placed, there's not a lot of precision to it. Grab your bronzer again on your fluffier brush and just tap over it. Easy peasy. What that does is transition it and blurs that top edge. And one thing you never have to worry about with a cut crease is underneath here. That's the really easy part. Now this is what I was talking about. Grab your C30. These are $10 right now, by the way. 
micellar water. And then once you clean up underneath here, it all starts to make sense. Look how easy. And then for my lid space, I'm going to use my favorite one, which is 18M. I just love this color so much. And I just checked, it's actually not sold out. Yay! So there's a link if you want to get one. And if this isn't your shade, I just feel like Armani did the most beautiful shades. They are so thought out. I just, delightful. Delightful. The formula, the colors, it's a, it's honestly 11 out of 10. No, I'm, I'm out of control. I agree. We, I just, y'all let me sit here. You gave me access. I might even add glitter. In fact, I am going to add glitter, but I'm going to film the glitter because Dose of Colors just came out with these new shimmer sticks, but we're not there yet. So I thought, oh, I'm using this uh, one more, 36M. And then what I think I want to do is just use my E27 and just stamp over all of those folds and connect it. And then I'll just kind of, if you can't shut one eye at a time, you could just turn to the side and fill in all the rest of the gaps. It's a really good hooded eye trick. And this brush is truly perfect for that since it's at an angle. And I'm just blurring edges. Also those blurred edges. I was saying those blurred edges are really great for hooded eyes. Anytime you can have a really soft edge, a blur over a fold, it's a good idea. You know what? While I'm sitting here, I forgot to put this on. I'll tell you what happened, I got distracted. Jean was being super cute when I sat down, so I was just absolutely just, just roughing him up, just ruffling him. Mm, he's so delicious. Now he's sleeping and I have forgotten to put on my lip treatment. This is my all-time favorite lip treatment out of all of them. And if you've been with me a while, ever since I started using this, I don't even remember the last time I had a dry chapped lip. I mean, not even barely dry. So the strawberry one is my favorite, but you gotta like strawberries. I love this so much. I will sing its praises forever. And they have so many different flavors and they have tinted ones now. Oh, so good. All right, let's keep with this kind of cat eye. We're gonna do our go-getter lashes and we're warming them up, getting them all nice and sticky. I don't even know how many times I've worn this particular pair anymore. They just keep grabbing. Oh yeah, that's perfect with this shape. Okay, let them get a little bit more custom. We're just waiting for them to heat up. Actually, I'm gonna scooch that on over. See how it grabs though? Whee! Okay, there we go. I don't like wearing a lot of base today. So whenever I don't want to wear a lot of base, the ruckus that ruckus is in this house, honestly. I'm gonna use my typology corrector. By the way, this did come back in stock and I bought another one. This is, this is the original one, but I, I will not exist without this anymore. I, I refuse to exist without this. Now I'm gonna take this prototype. I'm gonna use this more dense side, the little baby C41. Work this around the redness. Don't need it underneath my eye, so I'm gonna to start to feather it there. Focus it on the redness. Isn't that fun? This stuff is so good. Plus it's super calming, but it doesn't feel Feel. It doesn't have a minty feel or any kind of cooling feel. It's just the ingredients that are going to be calming. All right, now let that dry down. Now I'm still going to do a little bit of underpainting and you're thinking, wow, we're going totally full glam. Opposite. The eyes are out of control, yes, but the skin. If you do a little bit of a cream bronzer and I talked about this one the other day this is the perfect amount of wet sometimes cream bronzers they can just be way too wet 
And what can happen is that's going to change the formula of your foundation. They're not going to work together the way that they could. And I feel like Dominique Cosmetics just nailed this texture. Also love the color. C43 is coming back very soon, okay? The fall is almost here, and that's when the fun starts to happen. So when you have a dense brush like this, you're going to get a lot of color. You're going to get coverage. And also a bronzer like this is going to be very thin across the skin. So we're going to be able to use this as a very thin layer to get more coverage in just a second. Look how beautifully it blends out. I just love how it's not too wet. I feel like if you have, even though I'm balanced to dry, this is obviously going to work for me. But if you're oily, you're even going to adore this. Because a lot of times, these just feel so heavy. Cream bronzers. And this one is just perfect. I really think that if you're in the market for a cream bronzer, bronzer, you will love this cream bronzer. I wish you could just touch it. It's Maybe you can even see the way that it looks on my finger. Do you see that? See how it's not shiny, dewy, wet? Delightful. So I'm going to put a little bit here. And we're not contouring. No, no, no. What we're doing is we're keeping that flow because this isn't a shadow that's not going to be a contour so it just keeps the flow from here to here see how that's starting to match there makes a difference i'm so excited that this brush is going to come back i didn't expect y'all to sell this one out so quickly this is our underpainting brush and it's kind of a reminder that underpainting is not scary. In fact, it's so easy and so fast. Oh, look at how good that looks. Remember, this is going to go a little bit on the side of the face. So don't be frightened of it. And then I'm going to do a little bit here just to warm up the notes. Now also, don't be frightened of adding a little extra cream bronzer. Now, it doesn't mean it's gotta be a thick layer. All we're doing is we're needing that little bit of the extra pigment because I'm not gonna completely go over this. By this, I mean the cream bronzer. I'm not gonna completely go over it with a bunch of foundation, but it's still gonna have a little bit on top. So you need it to have a little extra punch to stand up against the, I'm actually just gonna use concealer, but to stand up against the concealer. And also, if you've ever thought to yourself, Rose, you take forever to do makeup. These tutorials take three to four hours. I don't have time for this. Please keep in mind, number one, I'm yapping, okay? I'm yap, yap, yapping. I'm out here confessing all of the makeup information that I know and what I'm still learning. <laughs> and on top of that, I'm usually filming in between here. So I do a lot of content. Obviously I do my paid content, but I do so much educational, not paid content. I don't even know how many drafts I have of things that I just have there that when it feels right, I post them. So usually I film at least five extra videos on top of this story tutorial every single day. I think sometimes I take Saturdays off every once in a while. So. Don't feel like it would ever take you this long. I just, yeah. I, I hate to do y'all this way, but one day I should just do a live where I just tune in and I just do my makeup, not say one word, and I show you how quick certain things can be done. But also I would feel like a monster, so I'll never do that. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do concealer. I've just been using concealer. It's so fast, and I feel like all of these new formulas the smallest amount goes such a long way. This is my favorite full coverage concealer right now. It's, oh gosh, it's so good. Now I'm just going to do a little there. And then do a little under here and around it. There we go. Double check it. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit there. Yeah. If you haven't tried this concealer yet, do yourself a favor. This is not an ad. This is just a concealer I cannot stop using, and I love it so much, but you have to like full coverage. Even though I'm gonna be able to um, buff this out a little bit, just keep in mind, you have to be mindful of how much you're applying from the wand because it can go full coverage. Nora, 
I want more coverage. It's gonna be underneath my eyes. I'm actually going to, uh, listen, I'm out of control. I don't even care anymore. I will add a touch of my pink brightener, my Cali Ray one. I wanted to show y'all that because that's back in stock. Whew, it's been a rough out of stock summer around here. <laughs> so wherever you want the most coverage, use your smaller dense brush. This one's coming back too. I'm telling you, it's out of stock summer. Jane, keep it down. Okay, I want more coverage around my nose. Mm -hmm. But now I don't care as much about the coverage there, so I'm actually going to use a C41. So whenever you want less coverage and you just want to kind of buff and fluff and just have a little bit, you're gonna grab a C41. The fluffier the brush, the more diffused. Yeah, oh, look at how flawless that looks. Actually, me and this one, we, we're fighting. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. I just, some days I just don't wanna see this freckle. And this concealer makes sure that I don't have to see it. But now we need a, in fact, we need a really small pin pointy brush. Excuse me, now I'm burping like Jean. We're gonna grab the C31. And just give it a nice little tap. Tap, tap, and now I'm just gonna blend the edges. Woo, this concealer. And then once it dries down, it'll match even better. So you just gotta wait for it to dry down. Now over here, back to that C41, blending it in, and then go on top. And my skin just feels so not heavy whatsoever when I do this technique. My contacts acting up. And then, like I said, I wanna use my brightener because it's back in stock. This one is the shade Dawn. It is beautiful pink. It's so pretty. And we just need a little bit of it. And the reason we're gonna do it on top of our concealer is because alone, and it would be too light for me. This is a brightener. And then what happens is that that turns into a shadow and then it turns gray underneath the eye and it kind of defeats the purpose of being a brightener. But if it has your skin tone underneath it, then we can blend it out and we're gonna get a really nice brightening effect. And this is such a thin formula. But something I will say, it's important to take it down kind of past right here See how this is kind of cupping right there? It's important to not stop right above that. And the reason why is because if we stop it right there, we're just gonna highlight kind of the round of the eye and we want to bring it down a little bit further past that so it really blurs and brightens up this entire area. Now, notice how little I use, but remember the kind of the idea of the triangle? We were right. We, we is me. This is never about you. This is about my makeup trials and what I've learned along the way. But for me, I was just using way too much product and I wasn't able to have that balance that it needs underneath. And by balance, I mean my skin tone underneath the brightener. Now I got to sneak a blush on. This isn't released yet, so I can't show it to you, but it's good. Doesn't that Look at how blurring that is, and I haven't even blended it out. Woo! Get in here. I'm getting blended. Hey, this is important. You see that that lump there? We don't want that. Don't we? Don't ever want to have to blend a lump. This is a lump-free zone, unless you're talking about these two lumps that lay behind me and snore. Okay, let's watch this blend out. Wow. How blurring that is. I've used these, but I haven't used this particular color. I was in the mood for this color. I wanted y'all to see it. I actually haven't seen them on camera though. I've just been using them. Dang, that is so blurry. Okay, I'm gonna diffuse the edges with the fluffier side of this prototype brush. It's like a little filter through there. So this morning, 
I went and I made my yearly eye doctor appointment. I'm definitely gonna have her check for blush blindness. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw yesterday's story, which if you've made it this far, you probably have. If you saw the Givenchy debacle, they completely changed the formula. And this is the old formula, but the new formula is basically a highlighter. We are all very sad. And I will post my video tomorrow. Give that a nice little tap. I will say the Shoei concealer does not crease even if you don't set it. I've been sitting here doing all kinds of stuff and it's not creasing. But I do that as habit. Wow, this blush is really pretty. Look how it melts in with the powder. Mmm, pretty! By the way, this blush dries down kind of like a long wear foundation. That's a really good way to describe it. So it's honestly, think of it as double wear, but as a blush. But we're also gonna need some education on that. So once it drops, we'll do education on it. Because sometimes long wear products, obviously we want that, but they dry quickly. So you might need my help, but that's what I'm here for. Let's finish up underneath here. So we're gonna grab, this one was 36M. And I'm just gonna do it on the outer part, kind of at an angle too. This is a really good way. Okay, this is actually a really good way. Now say we didn't even have the wing there. If we take from our bottom lash line, okay, and we have our E27, this is so good for hooded eyes because all we're gonna do is stamp it at an angle. So I don't want the shadow to start to cut my eye. I want it to be on this outer part. So even if we didn't have that wing, do you see how it's lift, hang on, there you go. I'm trying to not do that. Do you see how that would lift the eye? And if you have hooded eyes, this is such a good hack. So if we fill of our eye, I wanna to continue to kind of teach this for just a second. And my big white almond nail here, remind me of Jordan almonds, now I want Jordan almonds. Okay, but if we do it this way, you can feel that curvature of your eye and that is where we want it to go. We don't want it to go past that because then it's going to really round it. But like I said, even if we didn't have that wing, just from underneath here, because if you have hooded eyes, I do understand that you might not have any lid space. It can all, it can just be really far down. But that angle going that way, minus that, is going to give your eye lift. And then remember that first shade we laid down, the really warm one, we're gonna grab that on the same E27 and then that'll go over this way. And then a little bit underneath the darker shade. Tap, 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 tap. Again, I can't tell you what the blush is, but I'm so excited for this color. I'm so excited. I want like a brownie red lip brownie red. It's going to be this. Fenty really got me with these. Oh, I also just sprayed my spray, my M Cosmetics spray, just to kind of melt everything together. It's good stuff. Okay, let's do a little bit of this. Just a rough draft. He's on one of his calls again. There we go. See how nice and red that is? Then I'm just taking my finger and before this sets, because these do set, and that's what makes them long wearing, we're just gonna blend this out with our finger. So I was recording and then it froze. I don't know. We're putting this on now. And then we're gonna take a little bit more of the lip liner and just define the very edges. Then, because we have a gloss on today, this is a gloss. We're gonna grab our C30, but we're gonna grab powder foundation. I'm just gonna, this one's close. I'm gonna grab this Makeup Forever one. And we're gonna use that to clean up. And that'll create a barrier. So if you ever have feathering, a powder foundation to clean up and to create kind of a dam, like a beaver. There you go. Oh, I think I didn't even tell you what color. I'm a, I'm a goblin. 
speaking of goblin jeans at the door, he wanted to go get water. This is hot chocolate. I love this lip combo. Now I'm gonna go film with these, but since y'all are my family, we're gonna look at them here. I'm not gonna put it on yet, but I'll swatch it for y'all. So Dose of Colors has a multi-use shimmer stick. Let me get this off the of Sheila in a my cellar water situation. Okay, we got that. There's two shades. One is Icy and Stardust. I believe Icy is gonna be the more champagne. Let's go ahead and pop that off. You know, I'm always, I try to be careful. Let's see if we just pop it off. Yep, no damage whatsoever. Ooh, let me get the little cap off of this one. Yep, just tab, just pull that right off. In fact, I think I pulled it out of the cartridge thing here. There we go, we're good. Okay, put on your makeup seat belts. So I like the idea of a shimmer stick. So this is Stardust. So it's more subtle than I thought. It's still very pretty, but, and, and this one has more of a blue, green, champagne sparkle to it. Okay, and then here is Icy. I feel like Icy is the one that I would want. That one feels more intense. But what I like about it is that there's kind of a little built-in mixing medium, so I know that this isn't going to just start to fluff all over my face. Now, since I have it out, I do want to see it. So here's that dose of colors. Very pretty, but I will say I did expect just a hair more sparkle, a little bit more pizzazz. I want to compare it to Sparkle Balm. So let me put that on the other hand and I'll just hold it up. Kind of the same idea where it has that built-in mixing medium. I don't know. I feel like this one has more sparkle, but you know what? It's preference. We're not saying one's worse or better. Jean's saying something. And then let me swatch this color. So this one's going to be closer to the other two. I don't know. I can't decide. I don't, we'll wipe that off and redo it. Um, but I don't know. I feel like Sparkle Bomb is obviously <laughs> more up my alley. I accidentally got some of the, this is icy again. And then there's the two. I can't decide. They're very similar. I like how they both don't have bases, but, oh, Jean, it's really up to you. But obviously, I mean, I, I like Sparkle Bomb. And really the only reason I did the comparison is because I did expect these to be wildly sparkly. So I was excited. I was thinking more along the lines of something like the KBD ones, which I'll show you. This is what I was wanting from the Dose of Colors. I wanted this level of sparkly. See that? And then on my finger. That's what I wanted. And it has the same, um, the blue and everything that this does. These are crazy sparkly, by the way. If you're ever wanting sparkle, 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 you would want Dazzle Stick. So again, still, these are beautiful, subtle, nice stick form. It's just not what I was expecting. That's all. And then it did remind me of Sparkle Bomb, so we had to look at that. All right, Sheila, get to work with your micellar water. Get these sparkles off. <laughs> all right friends i think that's everything today this lip mm, i feel cute with this lip on i really do let me go edit the Givenchy. i'm not gonna post tonight though i'll post tomorrow mm -hmm. i'll post tomorrow i was gonna film something else but now i don't know what i want to film maybe i'll just go make some more coffee so it's good for me right now all right i love y'all i love you with all of my heart Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for chatting about makeup with me. And just thanks for being here for all of these years. I love y'all so much and I'll see you tomorrow.